Brock University's Department of Visual Arts is proud to be presenting a curated exhibition of student work. This show is an instrument of color. It is a third year intermediate painting exhibition. This is the second year uh, group of painters that come through our program. Uh, it would be the second year of training. And it's a kind of hybrid exhibition of term project works, which is work that uh, they instrument, they uh, undertake, they research, they get involved in, and it's essentially them finding their own voice. And uh, you can see the large two works here are a good example of that. And then we have a number of other works in the exhibition that are more directed, that uh, one in particular uh, deals with looking at a couple of Canadian painters, Phil Dara and uh, Joseph Plaskett. So the artists were asked to investigate these painters and look at their techniques and practices. In terms of preparing for this show, um, Sean asked us to find new color in our paintings and uh, was something that he said that resonated with me was I want you to create the best paintings that you ever have before. And when you have that in the back of your mind, it makes it easier to kind of be guided towards what you want to do. So for m me personally, it was a lot of experimentation, a lot of um, playing with tonality in a way that I haven't before, finding new textures and working on a piece bigger than what I, I've ever been comfortable with doing before. Artist Ray Kelly describes her process in creating grief in G minor. It was inspired by Phil Dara, and like I'm not someone who works abstractly like that. His work very much looks like paint that was, it could have been painted by a three-year-old, but it's still like a fine art piece. It's abstract and it's very purposeful. So when it came for me to abstract something, I started off with like a Tabasco bottle and like abstracting the Tabasco bottle. And then that being my original source of inspiration, then just kind of changing it and then turning it into something that I wanted aesthetically pleasing. The great thing about the visual arts program here at Brock University is uh, not just the program itself, which is a very diverse and you get to experiment with lots of different mediums, uh, but also uh, the facilities that are provided to the students here at the Marilyn I. Walker School of Fine and Performing Arts, and not just the wonderful and beautiful spaces that we have, but the opportunities that those spaces provide the students. As an artist, we always have to try to be different. And I like to paint landscapes, and that's been done for centuries. So you always got to reinvent, do something different. So I thought, or well, I'll paint landscapes, but take out objects. So I took out an entire bridge and just left it as negative space. At uh, the beginning, it's scary, because again, it's big, and you, you, know, you need a step ladder to get to the very top <laughs> of it. <laughs> like, I'm too short for this. And like the middle is kind of like, all right, you get a good vibe going. And the end, you're just like, oh my God, is this done? Is this good enough? Is it interesting? Blake Wilson created mega blocks from a group of random objects given to him by his teacher. He gave me like a bag of like Lego bricks. So I thought maybe I'd make it into a bigger Lego brick. So I melted it down in my oven at home and made it into these big Lego bricks and then he also gave me like a doily kind of frilly thing so I put it over cardboard and then spray painted it to stick with the anti-aesthetic kind of go with the raw feeling of the cardboard and the messy look of the Lego. Sweet Utopia by artist Krista Knapp was created by merging two existing projects. They're actually meant to be separate um, projects um, and then during our like critique, our midterm critique, uh, my teacher, Sean, he thought it would be a good idea to like combine them just because the styles were similar and he thought it was an interesting contrast between like the city and then the cupcakes. So he wanted, he thought it was a good idea to integrate them. My Plaskett painting, which is a still life based off of the artist Plaskett and um, blocks that were just part of my midterm piece. So it's like just a bunch of small individual blocks put together to create a little city. An instrument of color, student exhibition, will be on display until November 29th. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.